Last summer, we experienced one of the most shocking football news of all time. Lionel Messi was leaving Barcelona and on his way to Ligue 1 to join PSG. It was all anyone could talk about. Definitely one of the biggest and most talked about transfers of all time. Analysts were saying PSG was the undisputed favorite to win everything. I mean, on paper, who could beat them? They had Neymar, Kylian Mbappe, and Lionel Messi. But as the year had gone by, we saw that PSG was much more of a disappointment than anyone could have imagined. So why exactly did this quote-unquote super team not live up to their expectation? And can they redeem themselves this upcoming year? Let's take a deeper look. PSG is without a doubt the biggest club in all of France. Just the last few seasons, they were a world-class club, not only in Ligue 1, but in the Champions League as well. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but Raymar, how has PSG been a failure last season? They were Ligue 1 champions. And yeah, that's true, they were. However, 90% of the time, they usually win it anyways. And considering the amount of hype and anticipation for PSG to dominate every single competition, it's been quite a disappointment. They were knocked out of the Coup de France, Trophy des Champions, and by far the biggest one, Champions League, all in the round of 16. Incredibly disappointing for a club who many analysts and fans were calling a super team and sure favorites to win nothing short of a treble. Now, going into the 2021-22 season, there's genuine concern that the club doesn't have what it takes to really assert themselves as the best in the world. And I'm sure many of you are curious to see how PSG can make the right changes next season as well. And there's no better way to keep up with them or anything else in the world of football than with today's sponsor, OneFootball. OneFootball is the all-in-one app made for football fans. You can see all the live scores, stats, and news headlines to keep you up to date with the world of football and everything in it. OneFootball lets you personalize news notifications and makes it easy to follow your favorite teams and players. With their lightning-fast match updates, you'll never miss a goal, no matter where you are. They've added a new feature where you can watch live matches and post-game highlights from all over the world, including different competitions and even some friendly matches while making it extremely convenient to get your daily fix a footy. You can also look at the latest news, scores, and upcoming matchups with an option to even predict who you think will win. Their advanced game stats and analytics also lets you break down your favorite players' performances like goals by hitters, goals scored by left or right foot, passing accuracy, and so much more. So make sure you click the link in the description to download OneFootball and stay up to date with everything football. And don't miss out on a single thing, especially for next season. Thanks to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. But anyways, why exactly did PSG, despite being a super team on paper, end the season so disappointingly? In my opinion, it all comes down to these three reasons. Number one, no passion. Recently, it's come to light just how little passion some of PSG's most important players have for their club. And there's no better example than the star of the team, Kylian Mbappe. Now, don't get me wrong, Mbappe is becoming one of the best players in the world and can definitely become an all-time great when his career comes to an end based on how phenomenal he's been these past four years. But I know that 99% of you have heard about the drama between Mbappe and re-signing with PSG. Let's put it this way. PSG had to offer Mbappe literally the best possible contract ever proposed in the entirety of football history just for him to stay at the club. If Real Madrid and PSG were to give Mbappe completely equal contract terms, which club do you think he would have stayed with? And trust me, I get it. I would 100% have signed with PSG as well. The offer was just too amazing to pass on. First of all, he got around 100 million euros as a signing bonus for accepting the contract. Then, over the course of three years, he will receive 150 million euros in salary. And the most ridiculous part is that Mbappe was given influence and authority over the club, effectively making him the club's sporting director. So he will almost definitely have a say in who the club signs, who the manager is, and various other actions the club will take. This contract essentially made him half a billionaire and made him the sporting director of the club calling the shots. Who could say no to such amazing terms? He's basically secured his family for generations and generations to come. However, despite that, when it all comes down to it, it was a choice made for financial gain, not for the passion of football. Everyone knew Mbappe wanted to leave PSG and sign with Real Madrid. He would have loved to go and play for them. Again, I would bet you that if Real Madrid gave him the same offer, he would 1000% have gone to Spain. But instead of playing football for passion, 
Mbappe decided to take the money, which in my opinion shows that he never really had love playing for PSG. Anyways, let's put it this way. When Thierry Henry, a Frenchman born in the outskirts of Paris, was asked what club he would love to have played for, he didn't even mention PSG. One club that you wish you had played for, but you didn't. Thierry? Wow, it's him. Let me think. Ah. <sighs> Take your time. No, 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 it's, it's a tough one. But I, I, I'm going to have to go. Obviously, we all know. But uh, Liverpool. Oh. PSG is not a club that even some Parisians and French people are passionate about and dream to play for. So by that, with other players, it's no different. Do you think guys like Sergio Ramos, Donnarumma, Di Maria, or Hakimi felt passionate playing for a club with no history and only relevant by oil money? I would think not. Even Lionel Messi doesn't want to be in Paris. He has no passion playing for that club as well. And yes, we know he hasn't been great all season. Aside from his assist, he's been very average. But certainly, a factor is he doesn't want to be there. Everyone knows that Messi would have preferred to stay in Barcelona. But considering how the club is in financial crisis, it was impossible to keep him. Now, you can say what you want about why Messi's season was the way it was. But his lack of goals and aggressiveness on the pitch has been a direct factor in PSG not being as dominant dominant as they should be. And Neymar, well, it's been reported that he's been losing interest in training and is looking more and more towards a life outside of football. He's even stated that 2022 is going to be his last World Cup. I would think that he still had at least two more in him. He'd be 34 by 2026. But it seems like the world of fashion, vacationing, and gaming is catching up with the man after years and years dealing with PSG's mediocrity, which is a shame. If Neymar had more commitment and passion for PSG, they'd definitely be a much more formidable squad. Number two, lack of chemistry. It's no secret that Mbappe and Messi duo is definitely not clicking as much as the Neymar Messi or Iniesta Messi duo. Mbappe and Messi assist each other and give each other some great opportunities all the time, but overall their chemistry just isn't there. Now sure, it's their first season playing together, but overall, do you really see them with great chemistry out there? It's no secret that Mbappe is the main man of PSG, and Messi is doing his role as more of a playmaker for the club, but the two just don't have that level of a connection on the pitch just yet. And the lack of chemistry really held PSG back for many of the important matches throughout the season. For anyone who watches NBA basketball, the 2021-2022 PSG squad is basically the 2021-2022 Brooklyn Nets trio of James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving. On paper, they look like the best team, but in reality, they were very incoherent and couldn't play together at all. That's the closest analogy in sports I could think of for this PSG squad in all honesty. And another major factor for the club's lack of chemistry was the player's relationship with manager Maurizio Pochettino. It's been well reported that him and Messi did not get along well in the club. Many fans and pundits alike also thought Pochettino and his playstyle was incompetent, and he didn't know how to manage his squad and maximize their abilities on the pitch. In fact, he would switch PSG's formation almost every other week, trying to experiment as if he had no idea what he was doing. Former Italian forward Antonio Cassano said at the beginning of last season, Pochettino will have a short life at PSG. I have heard bad things about him. He's a great guy, but as a coach, he has not done a minute of tactics and the team asks him for it. He asks his players for advice on how to play. I can't believe it. He has never coached champions and now he has trouble managing great players. And he's not the only one to share those views about Pochettino. A team with big egos, personalities, and talent need a strong and respected manager in order to do well. And unfortunately, Pochettino was not the man for the job. When Thomas Tuchel was PSG's manager, they managed to reach the Champions League final and win multiple domestic titles in only a couple of years, with much less talent to work with. Number 3. Complacency Ligue 1 is the least competitive among Europe's top 5 leagues, and it seems like they might have gotten a little complacent with their competition. They aren't respecting other French clubs enough to the point that they end up getting upset by them in domestic competitions. And when it comes to the Champions League, they aren't pushed hard enough on a regular basis that when they meet another world-class club, they have a much more difficult time. Now of course, PSG does have the talent and skill to win and beat them all, but when you add a lack of passion, bad coaching, lackluster 
chemistry and become a complacent club, sure, over the course of the season, you'll probably win the league title. But when it comes to big time matches, other clubs might have more passion, more tactics, and simply want to win it more than the players of PSG might. And as of now, they're trying to fix these problems by getting a new manager and hopefully fixing chemistry issues between the club's stars and how well they work together, PSG might be a very scary team to deal with next season. But for now, I have to honestly say, I gotta see it to believe it. But what do you guys think is the main reason behind PSG's failed super team last season? Do you think they have what it takes to become a feared club in Europe? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see all of your opinions on it. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like as it really is the best way to support the channel and help out with the algorithm. And make sure you subscribe and turn those notification bells on for more weekly videos like this. I appreciate all of you that stay till the end and I'll see you in the next one.